What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ozarks Live. Good to have you with us today. How are you? Miserable. Yeah, I know. It's just, no. It's, <laughs> I've always believed, and I probably, you may have heard me say it, snow is something that I should go to. It should never be brought to me. Oh, that's an interesting way to look at it. You yeah. don't have a choice today. It's been no. coming down all day long. Yeah, and it's it's cold out, and it's windy out, and yeah. it, it's... It, we're not even in winter, and it's wintry out there. Yeah, and our Facebook friend Ursula, I believe it was, sent yep. us a picture and said a couple of inches of snow in Urbana on the ground. So some people got a little more than we have, I think. I mean, I haven't been out since I drove in this morning, but it's been going all day long outside the window. Yep. All and, day long. And on grassy areas and things like that, you know, there there is snow that you can see. I, I, the roads are still too warm, you know, for mm -hmm. any, but I'm... You just got, you have to watch out for what temperature is doing because if the roads get clear enough and there, you could get a little glaze going on them every now and then. So and it's going to get cold tonight. To, yeah, you have to be careful as you go. And it, it, I just don't like this weather. I know. <laughs> this is the first time I've had my coat off since I came in at about nine o'clock this morning. I know, and I've had uh, my coat on all day. And it's chilly in the studio. I mm -hmm. feel sorry. I mean, you really, if you wanted to go and get your coat on, that's okay. We I'm, can, I, I'm, I'm one of the breaks. I mean, I have a coat on, and I'm still chilly. I know it's chilly. It's chilly, but we'll be fine Sorry to because be <laughs> well, we've got the stove on over yeah. here. We got a lot of cooking going on. Yeah. By the way, one of our guests that we were hoping to have on couldn't make it. Right, Tony Orlando. He he, he couldn't make it today because of the weather. You know, I, I can understand that. This is not the best weather to always drive in. Right. So we're going to try and get him out on on Wednesday. You know, hopefully the roads will be fine and, and he can. So we're working on that right now, but it, it, it's always great to have Tony come on the show. It is. Hopefully we can make that work. He's a busy guy. He's a lot, got yeah, a lot going on. He's got, so. his, he's got his show coming into Branson. Yep, we do. Yeah. On the other hand, look how beautiful these flowers are from Linda's Flowers. Thank you to them, as always, yeah. for decorating the place up real nice. But yes. we do have a lot going on today. It's going to get a little bit warmer because of the kitchen. Yep, we've got a great show. Avanzari and Perkins are here to cook for us, which is always a good thing. It's going to be some good eating, but yep. before we get to it, we're going to show you what is on the radar. Okay, here's something interesting to kick off Food Monday, solo dining. Solo dining. Been there, done Been that. Been there, done that. You know, I don't <laughs> sure. mind going out to eat no. by myself. I don't do that very often here. I don't really have the, the need to, but when I travel, I have no problem. Yeah. No problem at all. Um, there is a restaurant in New York City that specializes in solo dining. To such a degree that you never ever actually have to talk or interact with another living person. Oh. In a restaurant, okay? okay. Japan based Ichiran just opened a second location. This features nice, quiet booths for one. Kind of looks like a little bit of a phone booth. I wish they were a little prettier, but you know, yeah. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But you do not have to chat up a waiter, you fill out a form. You can okay. see that sitting there on the table. Yeah. Somebody picks it up, brings you your food and drink. Right. I guess you don't even have to see their face. <laughs> uh, when you're finished, you push a button and somebody comes and takes the dishes away. Okay. Unusual. It, it, I, it looks like there should be someone right on the other side. The way it looked. Asking you to fill out a form for medical stuff yeah. is what it kind of looked like. Yeah, there. like a HIPAA enforced yeah, yeah, it hospital be, thing or something. Yeah, it should be a little different, I think. Well, the restaurant's <laughs> creator says the idea came to him when he noticed all the distractions that you get sometimes in a uh, restaurant. And he knows full well some people just want to really concentrate on the taste and the appearance of the food. They don't want to have to talk to anybody. Okay. I think it's a little bit extreme. I don't know. What do you think? I'm just as happy if, if I have to eat and, and go to a restaurant, just sit me at a table. I don't, I don't care. I don't need to be sequestered or anything. No. Everybody's there to eat. I know. Yeah, and, it's, and I, I like the interaction with, you know, the wait staff and stuff like that. It's always fun. I like that, too, but I like a nice warm bowl of ramen. And if you have a book, you want to sit and read a book I or do something that. like that, and sure. you just want to be by yourself, I guess I can see it. But they've opened two locations. There's one in Manhattan, one in Brooklyn. So apparently it's working out. Just saying. Solo dining. Well, you, oh, that's all right. Yeah. You get more people in, single, yeah, all right, all right. Now, here's something fun in the food category. Remember the scene in Elf when Buddy chowed <laughs> down on the spaghetti? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he topped it with syrup, Pop-Tarts, candy, Oreos, stuff <laughs> like that. Well, you can have that, too. Mm -hmm. If you find yourself at Miss Ricky's in Chicago, there's Buddy right there. 
They're serving the iconic meal in honor of the 15th anniversary of the holiday classic movie. The Spaghetti Sunday is available now through Christmas Day. <sighs> the restaurant's executive <laughs> chef <laughs> likes his spaghetti topped with strawberry sauce, marshmallows, s'mores, Pop-Tarts, Fruity Pebbles, coconut, and chocolate sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Does he deserve the title of exec chef? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there. See, see the look? Yeah, okay. Lydia's not loving it. Yeah, not You don't really. want that, Lydia? No, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It'll only set you back 15 bucks a plate. 15 bucks? 15 bucks. You ought to be able to buy all those ingredients and enjoy them at your leisure for 15 bucks. But if I order spaghetti, it's got sauce and meatballs. <laughs> no fruity pebbles? No fruity pebbles. No, no and no. Okay. I don't think so. I mean, Will Ferrell got paid to eat that stuff. The problem is that this restaurant, um, it's called Miss Ricky's. By the way, yeah. do you remember when I was in Chicago at the, uh, I went for the National Restaurant yeah. Show in like 2016, and they were having the big anniversary of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and right. I went to the recreation. Well, this is in the Virgin Hotel, Chicago, Miss Ricky's. That's where I had lunch and met the artist who had done the the remake of Ferris oh. Bueller's Bedroom with the, when you open the door, the dummy would yeah. roll over and whatever. That was the, so I've actually been to Miss Ricky's, but I didn't have the spaghetti sundae. Then why would you go? <laughs> I did have a nice lunch there, a but they didn't have that. spaghetti sundae. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to just internally understand what that would taste like. And I really need to stop. You don't want it unless you want to Instagram it and like show your friends how See, cool that's you the are. Only thing. We'll but get you know, a bunch it's going to be pictures. all over the floor and all over the table. People are going to have fun with it. So <laughs> I'll find that on Instagram. Yeah, it would be. Okay. All right, I got one for all you. Right. Really, this is something you can use. I love this. You know that cooking your Thanksgiving turkey can be a little stressful. You have to watch that timer carefully. You don't want to overdo it. Well, Spotify has something very cool to help you out this year. Spotify. It's come up with a turkey timer playlist okay <laughs> this will literally fill your kitchen with fun tunes for the duration of your turkey's cook time <coughs> you can listen to ariana grande alessia cara lady gaga and bradley cooper all sorts of artists will fill your soul and your kitchen with music as you prepare to fill your belly here's how it works Whoa. you put in the bird's weight choose from one of six playlists the length of the playlist is adjusted to your turkey yeah. all right for a 15 pound turkey it put in an 83 song, nearly five hour <laughs> playlist for you. Hit play, put the burn in. Once it's done, your turkey should be done too, okay? If nothing else, Spotify's based in playlist will add some very entertaining music and variety to your Thanksgiving holiday. I think that's a great idea. That's really not bad at all. I know, unless someone goes, oh, wait a minute, how long has the music been off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the problem. When you smell or the when smoke? you fall asleep with all the great turkey smelling. <sniffs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. a little too long. All right, coming up, Archie Perkins is back. Archie Perkins? Archie from Perkins is back yes. in the kitchen. <laughs> Cooking up a storm. Yeah, don't go away. Ozark's <laughs> live is just getting started. <laughs>